Well, well. How's everybody? We are up in the drum room here. It is, I don't know about where you're at, but where we're at, it is, uh, we have storms big time right now. It's, there's torrential downpour and the winds are coming. Apparently we got a couple of storms back to back coming. So that puts me up in the drum room. It's been busy. You'll notice on the channel there's a bit of tree work and some fallen videos on there. So, but it's time again. <laughs> now, it's drum profile time. Vintage drum profile time. And I thank you for your patience. As you guys know, <clears throat> I'm into quite a few different things. And uh, I don't know if that hurts me or it helps me. But I don't mean to sound rude. I love, I love doing them all. So I will continue to do them all. I have to... Uh, you know that old saying to thine own self be true I love wood I love my tree work I love my fallen I love music uh, I'm gonna be going on some journeys with woodwork that's just gonna happen it, it, <laughs> I have to do it I have to do it so well, I don't have to <laughs> I don't have to do anything as we all well know but uh, I want to anyway Enough psycho rabble babble. Woo! When I say, you've probably seen the kit there. This to me, this kit, it's an American hot rod. That's, that's what this reminds me of. This reminds me of a 60s hot rod. Um, I'm thinking, uh, oops, sorry about that light back there, guys. That's brutal on me, I'm sure. Sorry. Um, I, 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 it, truly, it, it feels like a hot rod when I play it, when I look at it. Um, I'm thinking Mopar. <laughs> yeah. It's a Roger, shall we? It's a 60s Roger, Rogers. Now, the interesting thing about this drum set, I actually have all the hardware, guys, gals, women, and children. I have the, I actually have the 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 uh, the kick pedal. I have the stands, and I have, I actually I have a Dynasonic, a beautiful Dynasonic, and I should actually break it out for this for this uh, profile. And I will, because it's just a matter of me reaching back and grabbing it. Um, so anyway, regardless, this kit. Uh, it's beautiful what it is what it is is it's missing the 16 inch floor tom but what I do with it as you can see I run this 14 over on the long arm that comes off hard um, Rogers was known for their hardware Bonham I believe no pardon me Keith Moon used the hardware on the premier stuff but look at this kit look look at look at this finish I believe they called it Black Strata. It's a 60s drum set. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's got the, the whole gamut. You know, it's, it's got it. Sorry, guys. Yeah. I think it's a holiday kit. I'm just putting your arm, my arm in there. Now I'm coming out. You know, it, she's a beauty, guys. Just a beauty. Look at Rogers. So, anyway. Uh, I think this 12-inch drum is one of the finest drums I've ever hit. Right now, it's out of tune a little bit because it's been sitting for quite some time. Now, I think my Dynasonic... Yeah, there it is in there. Actually, it's a little further in there than I, than I would like to see. So, it's, it's right in there. I, I should probably reach in and, and grab it you know what they're heavy I'm in these dinosonics i saw this in a pawn shop um a few years back and uh let's just put this up here guys for you i'm trying to knock stuff over here we go Isn't that a cool little picture that's great those guys work 
they worked. We got loud power sockets now. So I'm just gonna put this here, and you know, I mean, obviously we want to hear the hear the drums, that don't we? So uh, I I just going through my inventory, guys. I, I know it's not. It's not that exciting for everybody, but I know the vintage drum guys out there. I know you guys appreciate this. I know you do. Hey, yeah, yeah. Anyway. I've been working on the wood, man. I have been. He gets up in the morning. Bop the break of day. I want it to be the theme song for my TV show we're going to do. We're doing a TV show. My local TV station, Shaw TV. We're gonna do a Buck and Billy Ray TV show. I can't believe it, it's crazy. So we're gonna do that. I'm excited, nervous, all those things. All those beautiful things in life. Knows you're alive. You know you're alive when that happens to you. Let's bring this up a little bit, just a bit. So, this kit, I purchased off a fella, he was, he'd had it for a long time and he was kind of, he, he, he needed a bit of dough and, and I had it, so I bought it. Just now this Tom <clears throat> it actually uh, it's a little out of tune
They're beautiful. 60s Rogers. Could you imagine one more? Oh, that would be nice. I'm looking for it, but they're not cheap. Ho, ho, ho. You find one of these? I saw one for $700. $700. drumming a eh? random just drumming I know that if you're sitting there watching and going one two three four <laughs> rarely do I end up on the one like I'm just rambling <laughs>
got my foot incorporated into my fills within the last two years. I, I, it's the truth. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a self-taught. Uh, every time I say that I'm self-taught, I get a little <clears throat> jab because it's not the truth. Um, my boy, uh, has been taught by a guy, Dave, who's come right to the house. He's a great guy, a really schooled musician, an excellent drummer, jazz fusion, kind of a background. Um, he gave me some lessons when I was, well, a couple, three years, time flies. That's probably three, four years ago now, actually. Uh, you know, I'm 46 now. So I was probably 44, 43, 44 when I got my first drum lesson and it was from Dave. And he actually kickstarted me. He did, he kickstarted me. We hung out for a while and then life got carried on, got busy or whatever. Uh, and then I went to YouTube and I, and I started to, uh, I wanted to be a better drummer for my mom, right? For the band from glad and these little bands that were in with my mom um these original projects so i started doing that so 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 this to me this this simple thing here like that to me is like fresh it's still fresh. I I was I didn't know any of that stuff. I know that sounds crazy, but I just didn't. I was like, uh, you know, I mean, the foot was not in there. It just wasn't in the fills, and now it is, which feels wonderful. So uh, I got a long way to go where I I'm gonna feel comfortable but the music I play is is not uh, it's not heavy metal <laughs> by any means so Rogers. don't know the exact date she's in the 60s that's what I know and I know that I love vintage drums that's all I can tell you friends I just do I love them and uh, and I hope you do too and I will be 
going off on some some other ones here at some point whoo she's getting warm in here now i can probably turn that stove down a wee bit now a wee bit cookery oh she's a dandy she's a rip roaring dandy folks can you feel the heat coming off the fireplace salads okay let's turn that down a little bit there no okay there we go let's go half crack on that you don't want to go too low because when you got rain out remember this when you got rain and wind and you got a wood stove your draw changes i don't know about you or where your chimney how you're set up but when i get wind and rain and kind of a low pressure system listen to it out there's roaring um i'm gonna get busy probably there's gonna be trees all over the place um the draw kind of slows down it's not as good but when it's cool and crisp out and the air is cooler up there than it is down here then she roars it's good good stuff hey thanks so much everybody that was uh, a little while since the last profile oh, it was two weeks it was good two weeks could have been more you guys probably know better than i do um oh, look at this thing look at it one more time look at it just sit look at it just sitting there just being itself hi my name's roger I've been beaten upon by many different people over the years, and I still stand here ready for the next beater, being Buck and Billy Ray. I take very good care of this drum set. It's a gorgeous set of drums. If I found a 16 out there for the right price, I would probably grab it. But you know me, I'm kind of funky. I could run like that all day long. I could, you tell, tell me what's the matter with this? I mean, I know you just saw me beat the hell out of it for a half an hour or whatever the hell. But I mean, what, what's the matter with this? Nothing is wrong with that. My latest thing is I'm trying to get my foot going over there, you know. On the, uh, not just on the, on the one and the three, but on the two and the four, you know. again for hanging around up in the drum room with Buck and Billy Ray in his crazy drum room. Loving it up here. Next, I've got some more, more American hot rods. I got a, looks like a early 70s Chevy over there. Ludwig. Mm. Some more Japanese stencils coming. I know there's some stencil kit lovers out there. You got to be out there. Is that light horrifying? Probably is, isn't it? It's crazy how the light in the GoPros, like, like, whatever, you guys know. Oh, that sharpening video. I did a sharpening video. I'm going to apologize for it right now. I did a little, not a sharpening, a chainsaw maintenance video. And um, uh, because I was asked by some of my subscribers to do some, when are you going to give us some, you know, some power saw maintenance and stuff? And I, I said, well, I'll do it, you know, because you guys are cool and you guys support me and subscribe and comment on my videos and i like that you know maybe someday when i'm all busted up and maybe i'll i'll have a, a slight little bit of income from from youtube from all my subscribers and the views who knows wouldn't that be nice man oh man because i i never went to school i don't have a, a pension plan 
you know anyway that's a whole nother story but anyway it's, it's reality okay uh over and out skis i'm going out actually you guys should check this out with me you may as well just come out and check out the weather we're dealing with right now it's rancid that's the word that comes to mind rancid let's go i'll just leave this open that got oh i better check my stove door always check your stove door when you're leaving the house my buddy's house burnt down that's burning real nice could probably just turn that down just a little bit more maybe right there recheck it oh yeah she's good and smart tight good you know i've gone out and, and uh you know go to a soccer game or something on sunday and and uh i'll be at the soccer game and my kid will be sleeping in here and i'll think oh dear lord it is rancid out here i may have to get up on my roof but i think my roof's working good right now my yeah. um and I'll think to myself, oh God, did I, did I, did I leave that a jar, a jar, a door? Did I do that? Because sometimes what I do, and I'm stopping doing it, is I'll leave the, the door just a little crack to get the flow just when I start the fire, you know? It's a bad habit to get into if you got a brain like mine. I'm always losing my keys and my phone and all that. And, uh, but I remember distinctively waiting there until it, till it kind of cooked up and then I shut it and cracked it down. So I actually remembered that at the school. Man, I'm rambling.